Thanks for staying with us here on the Media News. Now, the Lagos State Government says the federal government has commenced the dredging of the Ogun River, a move aimed at addressing the flood situation affecting several communities due to the release of water from the Onyo Dam. Commissioner for Environment, Tokumba Wahab, confirmed this during an inspe inspection tour of flood-prone areas across the state. Esther Omokwariola reports. The inspection began in Ikurudu with the commissioner making a stop at Majidun to assess the water levels in the lagoon following the release of water from Oyo Dam. The tour continued to Agwede where the team identified damaged infrastructure and severe erosion affecting this community. Graciously, Mr. Governor had approved the second leg of the drainage system to start immediately and the contractor had been awarded the job and I believe in the next few days or weeks it should be on site. Um, then we now fill it up and get Ministry of Works and Infrastructure to help them put up a road infrastructure. Next, the team visited Itowolu, also in Ikorodu. Here, many houses and shops were found submerged, with residents forced to adapt to these challenging living conditions. We also need to appeal to those uh, citizens that are staying around Ajegule, Itowolu. They are taking so much risk. They are built inside the Ogun River embankment. And that water will never leave that place for them. We still appealing to them to leave to higher ground. It's emotional, but life matters a lot. The final stop on the tour was Isheri North, where the team assessed the extensive flooding that has affected the community. The commissioner assured residents that steps are being taken to mitigate the situation. We just want to plead with them that let's so see how far the dredging that has been awarded will go to mitigate this. And then we'll now find a way to see if there are still other things we have to do. Now they're giving us one or two suggestions with respect to a canal that they need us to touch for them. And then an embankment to help see if they can hold back the water. There are 7,000 plus, they're arguably one of the largest estates owned by Lagos State. So with what he has said that that canal will be dredged, he has promised us that the embankment will be looked into. I want to be sure that uh, we'll be able to give our people good news that we have heard from government. In addition to this, the commissioner revealed that there is an ongoing extensive construction of a 3.7 kilometer channel and secondary collectors on Weribe Road in Ikorodu as part of measures to prevent flooding in the access. As Tom Apariola, TVC News. In the last one year, Nigeria has witnessed a decrease in the rate of circulating variant polio virus type 2 cases. Experts at this year's World Polio Day say plans are underway to begin a synchronized polio vaccination in states bordering Niger and Chad in the coming days. Kemi Balogun has the details. Despite substantial efforts, forms of the polio virus still persist in some African regions. This has been mainly fueled by factors like misinformation, insecurity, limited access to healthcare, and high levels of population movement. In 2024 alone, 134 polio type 2 detections have been reported jointly in Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Central Africa Republic, Chad, Mali, Niger, and Nigeria. The World Health Organization says although the continent is now closer more than ever to a polio-free Africa, more work still needs to be done. The transmission of polio in conflict-affected areas in Gaza, Sudan, and Yemen is a stark reminder that where conflict deliberates, debilitates, health, uh, health facilities suffer, sanitation system suffer, and polio continue inevitably to appear, and it will continue to do so unless we decide to initiate deliberate action. Recorded 83 cases of circulating variant polio virus type 2 across 14 states in the country. The bulk of these cases, 64 out of 83, are what is called acute flaccid paralysis, while the remaining 19 were found from environmental sites. Although this is a reduction of about a third, 35% from what we had in the same period last year. 
Nigeria says it will now begin a synchronized vaccination campaign in states bordering Niger and Chad in the next few days. As you know, the cross-border uh, movement of people is very common in some common communities across the border. And we have scheduled cross-border uh, synchronized campaigns so that campaigns are going on at the same time. And that will be kicking off in a, in a matter of days. We also do have large-scale campaigns across about 20 states scheduled. Experts here say vigilance remains critical through the enhancement of surveillance, especially in underserved areas, and accelerated response to any new detection is key. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja. While the United Nations Children's Fund has declared eight local council areas in Borno State for zero-dose immunization against childhood killer disease, this was made known now the commemoration of the World Polio Day, where UNICEF launched a No More Dose song in Maiduguri. Part of the activities marking the day is a sensitization walk across the state, where UNICEF disclosed that Borno recorded about 28.5% of fully vaccinated children and basic antigens. Uh, zero dose are re regarded as children who have not received some form of Im Im routine immunization. And uh, it's one of the reasons that we are having cases of uh, vaccine-preventable disease like diphtheria, polio, and among others. Uh, we are happy to be here, and uh, we are encouraging parents to take their children for immunization. From the time they are born, they need to be vaccinated to be able to um, prevent diseases that can actually take the lives of children. Talking politics now, the outgoing PDP administration of Governor Godwin Obasaki in Edo State has not presented the necessary document that will enable the uh, smooth transition process. This is according to APC Transition Committee. The committee led by Bios Odubu said that despite, that despite the cordial atmosphere of mutuality and robust engagement at the inaugural meeting, the state government team is trying to scandalize the APC Transition Committee with outlandish claims that they are asking for sitting allowances. The ABC Transition Committee has also added that documents to be submitted were agreed to be, to be in soft and hard copies for ease of reference. And despite this, the two sets of documents sent so far were scanty and vague. The committee called for synergy and stressed that the incoming government and people of Edo State deserve to know the status of affairs for a seamless transition of government. Now, leaders of the All Progressives Congress in a cocoa southwest area of Ondo State have pledged their unflinching support for Governor Loki Aidatiwa in the coming governorship election. At a meeting held in Oka, Akoko, and attended by government officials, political and opinion leaders all agreed to embark on aggressive campaign at the world level, addressing the gathering. The special advisor to the governor on transport, Ben Gaumoli, said the leaders are working in one direction to deliver the council area for the governor, uh, Aida Tiwa. Also speaking, the former speaker of the State House of Assembly, Victor Olabinto, said Governor Aida Tiwa remains the best for the plum job. Hence, the need for the people to vote him massively. This is an opportunity for us once again to prove to the world that this is the home of APC. And I can assure you that Come November 16, 2024, Aida Atiwa and APC, we have over 90% of votes in this local government because you can see the arrays of leaders in the party here, from Honorable Labinton to Honorable Ade Ogun to Baba Gua Afoka to the coordinator of the DG of this local government. On the day of voting, you will see what Agogo Southwest will do. We have always performed very well for APC in any election and this one will not be different you can see this is uh, the home of the progressive in Ondo state ever since in our track record apc has been a group of this akoko southwest we can be rest assured that this coming election aida Tua will come victorious in this local government the person you are giving to aida Tua in this local government it is not uncommon that whenever we have elections APC has always been the winner. But what we are trying to do here is that during the election, we want to increase the percentage. We are very ready because the governor has done so much for our local government. So we are ready. At least we are working for about 80%.
And outside Nigeria, three journalists have been killed in an Israeli airstrike on a building known to be housing reporters in southeastern Lebanon. The attack was carried out on a guest house in a compound in Hezbeya, being used by more than a dozen journalists from at least seven media organizations with a courtyard containing cars clearly marked with press. The three men worked for broadcasters Al Manar TV and Al Maidin TV, which issued statements paying tribute to the killed employees. Lebanon's information minister said the attack was deliberate and described it as a war crime. The Israeli military has not yet commented, but has previously denied targeting journalists. And that's the news this hour. For more updates on the stories we're monitoring, you can visit our website, www.tvcnews.tv. You can also follow us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, and on X at TV